What's that crack? What's that bleeding story? How he's all doing and all that bollocks. Um, yeah, get him Saturday evening. Saturday evening. Gonna have a few beers. Have a few beers and I have the old board set up. I have a bit of red wine. A nice old red wine later on. But I have the old, the cheese, the chutney, the crackers. Chill it out this evening. Gonna play a bit of, probably a bit of Irish music. Start it off like that. Probably finish it off with a bit of eagles or like you know i don't know acdc might be thrown in you know what i mean we'll, we'll go there drop in the comments what you like for music or recommendations for a saturday night chilling out after i fucking get something off my mind something off my mind i'll tell you um warren um from warren's team talk um dropped me uh, a link about the Gwendozy thing and i read it brilliant it was good read you know um and it was basically just uh, what sort of their sort of point of view and what happened um Gwendozy and Arteta and this whole fallout thing. And I just think it's been brushed under the carpet and I don't I don't think anyone's talking about it that much and I think we, we need to, like, you know, me included. Because um sort of the article was saying, look, we bought them for fucking next to nothing, like, you know, and um I I remember like, you know, when we did sign them and if you watch me streams, I have said it before, that like when he signed the first thing he wanted to do was go out on the training pitch. It wasn't celebrate with his family or anything like that. He came from the second tier in, in France over to Arsenal straight away. And you'd be thinking, right, it's it's out celebrating with the folks and the, the, the missus or whoever you celebrate with. Like, you know, um, No, he, he wanted to go out training. And I remember hearing about that. And I was just like, that, that's it. That, I love that. I love hearing that. It's, it's like, you know, a fella that wants to improve straight away and can't believe I'm at Arsenal football club i want to get out there now so i want to get out there now start training get to know the, the players and everything else like that I, I love that that's that's good um mentality and stuff like that um so it started off like that Um, you know he, he signed as i said next for nothing and at some stage he was worth 45 million euros pounds whatever give or take like you know um well, like 45 million and he was only a year or something at the club in in, in his second season he, like he played something like 40 odd games or something like that um you know Arteta came in then in December he was playing all the way up under Unai Emery um even when when Un when uh, Emery left it was in November or whatever it was and then Arteta came in in December um I don't think he played him in the first game. He sort of brought him on as a substitute and he was sort of in and out sort of periods, like, you know, with him and he didn't fully back him. And then the whole Brighton thing happened. Now, <clears throat> the whole Brighton thing, I know you're probably going to say, but Dale Holland, he's a bit of a knob there. I agree with you, 100%. What he was saying to the Brighton players, oh, we're on more money than you guys and I'm on more money than you guys and this and that. And... Like yeah, that that's right. That's a dickhead. That to me, that's a knobhead. But look, footballers say stuff. Even nowadays, they say stuff that they shouldn't be saying. You know what I mean? That's a completely different topic altogether. Um, but you know it does go on. Let Let's not be like you know shy about it. It does go on. Man United players say it to other players. Chelsea players, like you know Liverpool, Man City, the whole lot of them. They They all do in in every game. Like you know, if you play the game yourself. Um, you know yourself, you, you'd probably say something to another person you shouldn't and you wouldn't if you weren't on the pitch. <clears throat> so, look, he, he is a young fella as well, like, you know. But what I, my sort of thing about it is, there should have been a leader there. And I keep fucking saying this. I, I keep saying this. Even people probably tell me, shut up, but fucking leadership. You know what I mean? He, he's a bit of a hothead. He, he went to the Dubai, I think, in, the, in February before all this fucking Brighton thing happened. And he was acting the bollocks over there. You know, um, if there was a leader there, I can fucking guarantee you, he would have fucking backed the fuck down. Because I'm, I'm talking about a man, I'm a man, I'm, I'm talking about in men's situation, men's football, men's locker room talk, okay? If you have a person that is the leader of that locker room, if he turns around to you and says, shut the fuck up and pipe your fucking shit down, guess what will happen to that young player? I can fucking guarantee you, I can guarantee you, he won't fucking act a bollocks again. Because he, when he was in Dubai, he there was some um, uh, dance sort of thing going on, musical instruments and stuff like that, like local culture and stuff like that. 
you respect that. When you're away, fuck Arsenal. But when you're away representing you yourself, you your family, when you're representing them and you're in a different culture, you respect that culture. I don't give a fuck where you're from or who you are. You should always respect other people's culture and don't disrespect it. That's that's my personal opinion. You know what I mean? I, I hate fucking dickheads that think, oh, they're fucking staying that or they're eating this or they're dancing this or they're doing that. Shut the fuck up. You're in their fucking land or you're in their territory or whatever it is. You respect them, okay? And he didn't respect them. So there should have been some captain there. There should have been some leader. Not 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 Arteta because he's the manager, okay? So he would have been over, let's say, with the, the coach and staff. And you know what I mean? I'm talking about the players would have been all sitting together and stuff like that. You know what I mean? The captain should have been able to stand up there, sit the fuck down. Because apparently he stood up, got his top off and started swinging it and dancing like that or whatever. You know what I mean? You're disrespecting the people that are around it, that are playing the music for you. That that fucking really boils my blood. Um, but someone should have been there. And, and, and I'm talking about the leaders, the captain, the five of them or whoever they were. What the fuck were they doing? You know what I mean? Because I'll tell you, if I was one of them fucking five, he would have been fucking pulled down to the ground. And if he wasn't pulled down, he would have got fucking clipped at one of them and he would have been fucking sitting down. And that's 110% for me because I find st- stuff like that very fucking disrespectful to other people. You know? But no. No, no one did fuck all. No one did anything. And, and that this comes down to the whole thing of leadership and captains. Oh, sure, we should have had five captains there. So there should have been five lads around and pull them down, sit fucking down, and you listen to this music. Even if you don't like it, you give it respect. Okay, that didn't happen. You know what I mean? So, you know, it, it boiled over. So he's just there going, right, grand, I'm Billy, big balls. I'm on 40 fucking grand a week. I'm after coming from France. I'm, I, I was on whatever money he was in, in the second tier in, in France. I'm sure it wasn't 40 grand a week. So the next thing he's getting this and he's probably getting the Rolex watches and cars and whatever. Grand. Fair play to him. He earned a good man. Respect to him. All the best. You know. But this was from February. This was allowed to carry on. To carry on. What's the mentality of the, the Arsenal players? This is what I've been fucking saying. You know what I mean? The, the, there should be someone there. I, let's go back to Tony Adams. Patrick Vieira. Can you honestly say that someone would have been acting the bollocks in the dressing room like that if they were captain? I can fucking guarantee you one thing. He would have been fucking battered by any... by n- n- Like Vieira's day. Look at the leaders that were in that fucking team. Tony's day. Exact, the, the, the exact same. You know what I mean? It, 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 it just goes to show you this whole, oh, we have five leaders. You don't. You've not, you've not, no, does not work. In, as I says, I'm looking at from my point of view... I'm a man in the locker room. You have a leader on the team. Let's say if fucking Johnny over there, he's he's on music, yeah? Right, put on the music. Get that fucking show. He changes the next song. I don't like that. You know what I mean? I'm the captain of the fucking team. Don't like that. That's a good song. Everyone enjoy that grand. Yeah, let's play that song. Simple things like that. You know what I mean? Not this fucking, the young fellow over there dictating, change that song. You, did you fucking, I'll fucking borst you. You know what I mean? This is the fucking thing. This way, well, this is when I was a leader and I, I've won stuff, you know, in, in Gaelic games and stuff like that. You know, I'm a leader. I, I've done all that, and that's the way it is. But I don't know. And it, it, this sort of stuff boiled over, and then w- whenever the Brighton game happened a few months later or whatever it was, you know, and 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 then Arteta then sort of just threw him under the bus and sort of says, "Yeah, grand. Look, you disrespect, you dis, dis- you misbehave in February when we were away." Uh, for the, the 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 hot weather train and whatever they call it, and now you're 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 taking the piss out of Brighton and stuff like that. You know it should have been dealt better. I'm sorry. It, it was allowed. He was allowed to say all these things. I'm I'm sorry about it. But let's say from February, even if it, he he was a little knob, um, leading up to this, we know that, and other players have said that. But when you're at Arsenal, someone should have been there sitting down and I'm going, buddy, you're an Arsenal football club, mate. All right, you need to calm your fucking shit down. You need to change your attitude. Your man Ali Dare, remember him? Jeremy Ali Dare, the young, uh, fellow young fella, he's not young fella now. He used to play for him at Lorraine where he played. And he says, yeah, he's a great player, um, brilliant footballer, but he has to change his attitude. And when he moves over to Arsenal, he goes, yeah, he's definitely going to have to change his attitude, get into the English game, get used to it and stuff like that. And the way the fans treat you and stuff like that. Um, but he, he, he wasn't, like, you know, and I'm not just blaming Arteta. 
I'm, I'm blaming Emery as well. Someone should have been fucking there to guide him and just said, mate, you have to just cool the jets here. You know what I mean? Not all the time. You can blow a bit of steam off. That, that's no problem. But you have to cool the jets, mate. But, you know, he wasn't He wasn't allowed. Emery let him run amok. Well, Emery played him and he probably didn't have a fucking chip in his shoulder. But then when Arteta started dropping him, then he started throwing the toys out of the pram. Like, you know, doing all this shit, what he was doing. You know what I mean? Then, you know, this it obviously was going to come to a situation. And they did the Brighton game. And then the two of them blew, blew, blew the fucking head gaskets. And the two of them obviously fucking had a row. And obviously, Arteta's a dictator and he's the manager. And that's fair enough. You want them out of the club. That's grand. But the deal that was fucking done when he went on loan. Sack whoever dealt that. Sack them now. It's a disgrace. Like, giving him for 10 million. I'm sorry about it. And as I says, after a season at Arsenal, he was worth 45 million. Now, he's in the French midfield. He's, he's, he's playing. You know what I mean? He, he's going to be in the World Cup. He's going to be in their squad for the World Cup. The World Champions. And we, we saw him for 10 million. Was it 10 million, I think, euros? I think it was 7 million pounds. Something in around that. Even if someone tells me it's 15 million. He's well worth fucking, I'd say, for at least 45. You know, at, at the minute. He's a French international. You know? This is the type of shit that we need to get the fucking out of the club because these deals are a disgrace you know what I mean and that's sort of what I just found that. and here by the way we need another here's me little mascot me Del Boy yeah here's me here he is there you go you need a bit of Del Boy action up there I'll tell you doing these deals I'll tell you you'll be believing you the arse will be loaded again you'll be pulling Neymar in you'll be pulling Mbappe in the whole lot and they'll be on pennies sell them a dream that's what I say sell them a dream look everyone I'm gonna Get stuck into me crackers, me uh, chutney, me cheese. And I'm going to have a load of these beers tonight. I had a tough week uh, in Warp. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy them. And everyone else, enjoy your Saturday night, your rest of your weekend. And I really hope um, Arsenal sign a few players. You know, I'm not even going to go into the transfer shit because other people can do that. I'm not doing that. And I'll just give you my opinion when stuff happens. So please do like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want. Give us an L hand to get this channel up and running. And let's fucking make noises. Let's make noises. As I said again, have a great weekend. Take care, everyone, and God bless you all.